Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is February 6, uh, 2024. Extra problem time. And let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's see what we, what RNG, uh, problem do we have today. Uh, today's problem is 481 magical string. <laughs> Yet another problem with a lot of negative votes, uh, or down votes. We'll see why. Uh, a magic, magical string S consists of one and twos in a base the following rules. The string is a, is magical because concatenating the number of contiguous occurrence of characters one and two generate the string itself. So the first what one two one what the string s is magical because contiguous generates what huh All right, let me. uh one and twos in s. Wait, where did the 11 come from? I don't get it. The number of... Oh. What? Maybe I need to figure... Maybe that's the downloads. I don't even understand what this is saying. But, uh, okay. So, this needs more English. Like, if we group the consecutive ones in it, it'll be... Okay, I mean that part is okay. And the occurrence of one that you got one, two, two, one, one. Okay, I see. I guess it's kind of a hard problem to be honest. Okay, or like hard to read, hard to understand. I don't know if it's a hard problem yet because I don't know that I understand it yet. But uh, okay, so we okay, so it's alternating, but it has this property. Are they, are they always, um, I guess the first thing has to be one. Okay, let, let's just write it out then, or simulate it out, I guess. Uh, N could be pretty big, I assume, so that you can just like, I guess we could simulate it if it's not, I don't know. We'll see. So one is going to be one because it's the first number, and so because it's one, it has to describe itself. And then now we have to begin with a two, so that means that there's two twos. Uh, sorry, you have a two. So that means that this is now one, two, two. And because now this means that the next number is two, that means that there is two ones. And then now this is one, two. Oh, sorry, now there's two. Wait, wait what, how do we come to get to this again? Oh yeah, there's two twos. And then here you have Well, this has next one is a one, so here's a one, and that means that there's one two, and then the next number is, um, well one, so that means that there's one one, and then now there's a two, that means that there's two two, and then, oh wait, what? There's a two. Wait, I don't. Do I add that yet? No, no, no. no. So this one means that there's a one, right? And then now there's a two. Which means that there are two twos. Okay, so this is a two, and then there's two twos, and then one, so then one, and then now there's a two, so now there's two two, and then there's a two, so then now is one one and of course it 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 uh loops like before that. Wait, is that true? Did I miss something up? No, then it doesn't loop, right? I thought it would loop actually. But it probably loops at some point because there are not that many possible states, right? It's uh, you this is either Oh wait no, I guess because you're going forward, so may maybe. Okay, fine. Uh Okay, so then now there's one, so we, okay, whatever. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess we just kind of simulated because it seems like it's very simulatable. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just very weird. All right, so, okay. 
So let's say we have a deck, right? A queue. And then we start it with one. <clears throat> I mean, and there may still be a pattern, but I, I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'm going to worry about that yet. Um, and then basically for do 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 right? Or minus one, I guess starts from one, this may be easier. Then now, I'm counting as you go to one for the number of ones. And then now we have pop left. So current is you go to whatever. So this is the number of the next number. Oh, so then we kind of need this just so that we can have do 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 do. How does that go again? So basically, if i is odd, then yeah, so there's it's this kind of. Because it's not right. Because it's like, if it, because this may give you zero, but it's two or something like this. I, think, I don't know how to write it in a good way. Uh, yeah, sorry, I got a little distracted, whatever. I mean, it, it, I, I think I tried too hard to kind of make it cool, but just make it like, you know, just, just write it, right? So then now, um, current is the number of counts, right? And this is the current number. Um, and actually, I could probably just write it in, in, in a different way, right? So current digit is equal to two, because we already just did the one, right? But then you still have to increment it, so it's a little bit awkward anyway. Um, and then current is going to be um I, I just want to be more prescriptive right current count right um and this is like return count right so it's total count so then now basically for do in current count and, and this goes only up to two so it's not that much of an issue right then q dot append um current digit and then now, if current digit is equal to 2, then current digit is equal to 1, else current digit is equal to 2, or something like this. It's a very awkward for loop, but, but yeah. And then here, um, yeah, if current digit is equal to 1, then we increment count. And that's pretty much it. But it is a very weird problem. Oh, did I misunderstand this one? Hmm. Why is it all for three? Three is one, two, two. Did I mess this up? Oh, 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 oh. I did mess this up. I, I... No, I mean, it shouldn't be. Huh, did I mess this up? I mean, I guess so, but... So it puts in a two. Oh, I, I did mess this up. How does it get the other one right? So basically what we want to do is put in the one first. Okay, fine. But then now, um, the, I guess I just kind of have my base case well. Uh, I think this should be, oh, I thought, this, oh, well, if n is equal to one, we, it's kind of awkward, but um yeah how am i doing it okay so da, 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 and then we put in the digit and then basically oh because it doesn't do anything okay fine yeah i'm too lazy to kind of think of the case I don't know why I didn't test this one, to be honest.
Uh, okay, I mean this looks okay. Let's try a bigger number. Wait, I don't know why I didn't test it earlier. But... Oh yeah, I forgot to put... I mean this is why you test it. <laughs> Okay, so we are still wrong. Why am I wrong? I mean, yeah. Uh, how did I get lucky, I think, is the question. Maybe one is in the base case. Um, hmm. Or at least, like, maybe I just have it wrong. All right, let's just print this out real quick. Um, okay, so we start with one. Why? I think something is wrong. Do, 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 do. You put in one. Oh, I guess the first two numbers are kind of funky to kind of kick off. Because it should have two, two. So that's why. But but I don't know that you can... Cause, but that, that, that part is not simulated. Because that part is just like from that logic. And then you could catch up. Right? So yeah, okay. So then now I do that. Um, so okay, so this is now more right. Now, because then now one is one, two is two, and then now total count. Um, or this is, should be... Well, well, we skip one, so then that means that hmm, this is a little bit awkward because we have to do this like logic thing to kick it off. Um, so what is the state, right? The state is that now we're doing the third number. Yeah, so that means that these two actually pops off. So now we're doing the third number and total count is one. And then the next number is um, current digit is going to be the third number is one, right? Uh, and then now we skip two. Okay, so this is a little bit better, but, um, but obviously for, because we skipped the first three um how does this come up with that am i even right am i or am i just lucky yeah i think i'm just oh no 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 because no, no. yeah it doesn't contain the first two digit num numbers anymore okay so yeah as a result then the third i mean the first i guess there's only one for the first three anyway right so yeah okay fine so that's the base case, and then now this assumes that now we're trying to get the fourth digit. Okay. Uh, all right, let's try a bigger number. In a random number. Oh yeah, I can. Whoops. This is kind of a tricky one to understand. And get it right apparently huh i mean i got this one right randomly but why is this wrong that is an annoying thing to debug i mean how do i get like a random number right but not that one wrong right like how does that happen or am i just lucky Yep, I am just a little bit lucky because every like few numbers are wrong. Hmm, am I simulating this wrong? All right, that's wow. This is uh obviously more annoying than I expected to be honest, because I really expected this to be mostly right, uh, even though I shouldn't have submitted it. But okay, so we start with the third number. So one one and then one two. One two, one one, and then two two, and then one one, two two, 
one one. Two, right? So that's actually, it seems like it matches here. So where did I start going wrong? Uh, this is so annoying to do. Because apparently I get some random stuff right, but not enough of it. Is my logic wrong? Why am I getting like 15 wrong? All right, let's, let's just, all right, one, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, two. So that looks right. I assume that the rest is going to be right. Am I just counting wrong? Hmm. All right, let's take a look. My index is maybe a little bit weird. Well, this, am I checking current digit? I am checking current digit. It's not current digit. It's, it's the number that we pop. So current count. Because we're counting the numbers that pop. I don't know how, how uh, that is just dumb. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't that bad. It was just that I apparently don't know how to, uh, I, I confused myself at some point, I guess. Uh, again, I forgot about this point again. Okay, let's give it some. I wonder if this is actually even more correct with these things. It's just that I kind of, I, I just used the wrong variable name. I mean, it, it actually wasn't that bad. And I didn't expect it to be that bad. But um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be all of n times, which is not linear, by the way, because n is, or the input size is going to be the number of bits that represent n, so this is actually exponential. I do wonder if there's a algo way of doing it. Um, I'm going to take a look to see. Q approach is fine. Yeah, two point. This is another way of thinking about it. I don't know. If, I, I was just curious whether there is like um like an analytical solution for it, but uh, it seems like not. So even though everyone is using O of n incorrectly. Huh, well, let's take a look at this one. Mm. I don't think they know what they're doing. I mean, okay, they converted to zero and ones. That's actually much smarter than the way that I did it, maybe, but. But I, I don't, what? Oh, I guess they meant log n as in log of this n. But that's not even true, right? Because you have one bit for each number. So that's just O of n, unless I'm... Yeah, I think that's just not true. I mean, it is, yeah. So it's just wrong in a couple of places. It's the same as the Q in terms of space usage. You just kind of put in a Boolean map. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't see who it was. I don't know. I don't mean to crap on them, but that was just wrong, I think. But uh, but yeah. So it's exponential time, exponential space, um, O of little n, which I guess, be, be, but it's not the size of an input. Uh, but yeah, a lot of silly mistake on the typo though. But anyway. That's all I have for this one. Uh, it wow, twenty minutes. But that, all on a typo mostly. Um, no, I don't think that you can reason the uh, the first. So you cannot reason the first number, and you cannot reason the second number. I just kind of was optimistic for some reason. Um, or like you could reason it, but you can like generate it. Is what I mean. Um, and then from that though, because now you have more coming out. So then now you can simulate from the third number on. But uh but yeah. Or you could 
generate from counting the third number or something like that. Anyway, that's all I have for today. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.